out, you know, these cold temperatures coming in. Yeah, the cold weather right now is nothing compared to what it's going to be a little later on this week. We have some rain, some gloomy conditions, live look in Tuscaloosa. We have that out there as well this morning for you. And then here in Birmingham from our BJCC camera, gloomy weather, a few showers coming in, temperatures coming in 42 degrees right now. So a cold rain, have that rain jacket umbrella with you as well as that warm coat too. Light rain showers, that's all we're looking at here, but it will continue this morning in the 40s for much of the area. Gatson, Coleman, Hamilton at 39 with Alabaster at 42. At Tuscaloosa, you're at 43, same for the Alex City area. And you can see the rain got a little bit steadier, but light from Gardendale through Birmingham back to Hoover, heading over toward Mountain Brook, going to the Homewood area there, heading back toward Hueytown and Bessemer. You have the rain back over toward North Johns and going over toward Lakeview, Brookwood, Vance, West Blockton area there, Helena, Alabaster, Pelham, Chelsea, all of us deal with the wet roads back toward Harpersville, Pell City, Lincoln, and in toward the Talladega area there. There's our system giving us the rain, this coastal low rain behind it, but then here's our Arctic front that'll be moving through as we get forward here throughout the Thursday night and Friday time frame. In the short term, it's just these light rain showers coming on in through lunchtime today. Temperatures lower to mid 40s by say three o'clock this afternoon from Birmingham South. We still have the rain to the north. It comes to an end as we get to dinner time. The rain is gone when the upper 30s to lower 40s. A lot of cloud cover overnight into tomorrow morning. We'll start off in the mid and upper 30s and not much of a warm up tomorrow, but we will get back into the 50s. Then our next weather maker is this cold. Need to be weather aware as we head into Friday and Saturday. We're talking very low temperatures, single digit lows. This would be the coldest we've been since at least January 2018, but really more so December of 1989. If some of you can remember that bitter cold there across the deep south that day. And we're talking extreme wind chill too, because as those temperatures come in, winds will be 25 to 35 miles per hour. So zero to 15 degrees below zero. Yeah, this is something you talk about in the north. Not so much here. And this is pipe bursting temperatures as well. You'll see the front bringing us some rain here initially by Thursday, 10 p.m. But on the back side, there's a chance may for you see a few flurries overnight into early Friday morning. Not the setup where we get the snow out there with a the cold air chase behind the front, uh, but we could see a few flurries. The that blast comes in Friday morning, sticks around all the way into Christmas weekend as well. Cool that it's nice and cold for Christmas, but this is dangerously cold. As we start Thursday night with the front coming in, waking up Friday morning to single digits, maybe nine degrees here in Birmingham, and only rebounding to the upper teens to maybe 20 degrees by the afternoon. Heading on into Saturday morning, again, we're talking about uh, teens out there, and then as we go on into Saturday afternoon, mid 20s, that is about it. So we're talking at least two full days now that we will be below freezing and then you factor in the wind. How about Friday morning wind chill? Maybe seven below from Birmingham to Alabaster, 14 below for you in Coleman, 10 below Anderson and Gadsden. And then as we go into Saturday morning, wind chills could be below zero to single digits out there. Dangerously cold out there. We're not used to this, right? So we have a wind chill watch. You don't see that very issue very often for central Alabama. That's from midnight on Friday all the way through noon on Saturday because of the deep freeze expected across the area. Combine that with a hard freeze watch as well too from midnight Friday through 9 a.m. on Sunday as we're going to have the chance for some definitely freezing temperatures there 5 to 12 degrees. So protect people, protect pets, protect your pipes as well too. Plants not so much an issue anymore here, but definitely keep that in mind. Make sure you wrap those pipes and let them drip inside your home. Christmas Day it looks like cold 18 when you get up though and then only maybe briefly above freezing as we head through the afternoon hours there. This could be one of the top five coldest Christmases ever here in Birmingham. Now that finally cold blast does end as we head into Monday.